Hi everyone. Thank you for all your support. Your support is our inspiration. If any of you are watching our video without subscribing us, kindly subscribe us, uh, like us, share us. So today I am here for wound assessment and NTT. So wound assessment and NTT is a combined procedure, but it's considered as two skill station. So wound assessment it's considering as a one um, skill station, NTT is a another skill station. All together it will be 21 minutes. So it will be dividing um, if you are um, if you are doing wound assessment and NTT in a first attempt, it will be all together considering as a 21 minute. So you will be doing the wound assessment, then you will be going for the NTT. It's a continuous procedure. But if you failing any attempt, if you pass on the wound assessment or you fail on the entity or if you fail on the uh, pass on the entity and fail on the wound assessment in that case it will be dividing as wound assessment is a six minute procedure and um, entity is a 15 minutes procedure otherwise it's all together 21 minutes hope you all are clear so in wound assessment you will be um, getting the, it's not a uh, real patient it's a mannequin and you will be uh, you won't be getting a wound either you will be getting a uh, picture like this or you will be getting a wound like this and uh, over there they will be showing that one so um, whichever it will be you need to assess as it is a real wound uh, accordingly you need to um, assess it then uh, each of the things um, uh, you need to verbalize as well then once you assess the wood, you will be going to arrange the um, equipments for the NTT. Okay. I'm focusing for the wound assessment and the NTT. So I'm not focusing initial parts. If you having any of the doubts, please watch my other videos uh, for the safety check and uh, rest of the things. So I will be starting from the explaining the procedure. So consider we done the um, safety check. First hand check, introduce yourself, allergy check, pain check. Um, so that's been completed. Okay. So now you starting with the explaining the procedure. As I always say, I'm focusing to the camera. That's why I'm um, focusing to you. Always make sure you focus to the patient. Okay. So, um, okay, Joe, uh, I'm here to um, uh, check your wood. Um, so once I assess your wound, I will be going and uh, arranging the article for dressing your wound. Um, is that all right? Uh, it won't be a painful procedure, but uh, it might be a little bit discomfort as well. As you said, um, you already uh, you haven't got much pain. So uh, if if you in pain, I will give you the pain medication. Is that all right? So is that okay? Can I go ahead? Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Joe. So I'm just going to. Gel my hands. So focus, complete your um, step. So I'm waiting for dry my hands. Now I'm just taking the apron. Okay. Um, I'm wearing my apron. So I'll make sure I will, um, uh, there is no fan um, and I will close the um, um, windows and uh, um, doors. So I'm just uh, closing the curtain as well. So I'm not closing the curtain uh, fully so that you will be able to uh, watch the video. Otherwise make the privacy always, okay? And I'm using my glove as well. Okay, Joe. Um, Joe, I have already given you privacy. Is that okay? Can I um, uh, check your wound? Am I okay to expose you a little bit? Okay. So expose only the minimum what you needed. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I can see that it's a, a surgical wound, and um, uh, uh, I need to count the stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12. Uh, there is 12 stitches. It's uh, around um, one, two, 
nearly four centimeter long and nearly one centimeter wide. Um, uh, there is no, uh, you know, um, the edema. Um, I can soon uh, see the wound site is um, slightly red, but it's closing together. Uh, all the edges are uh, equal and they're closing um, equally. Um, there is no uh, pus or any exudate. Um, there is no leakage. So wound uh, look healthy and clean. Um, uh, the surrounding is, uh, there is no swelling. Uh, slightly redness in there, uh, but there is no swelling. Um, Joe, if I press uh, your surrounding, uh, just let me know if you are in pain, okay? Um, is there any pain? No, okay. Is there any pain? No, that's fine. And is there any pain? Little bit, yeah, okay. Um, so um, I can see the wound is, um, you know, uh, there is no uh, swellings and the patient is uh, not uh, complaining much pain um, just around. So um, the, um, the wound condition is looking good um, and it's uh, started to healing. Um, the uh, skin look, um, um, the area look uh, pink and uh, uh, healing. There is no pus or exudate, um, so I don't need to send any culture to the lab. Uh, I'm not going to uh, take any swab as the, I can see that um, there is no sign of infection. Um, so I, I'm not going to uh, refer, uh, refer at the moment uh, because I can see that uh, the wound is um, uh, looking clean and it's uh, healing. Um, so that's fine, um, uh, but we still need to uh, dress um, every day um until it's uh, uh you know completely uh, healing and uh, maybe we we can do the alternate day uh, once it's uh, started better um so okay joe i'm just covering you um so remove the apron and glove tell your hands again okay joe as i said i'm going to arrange all the uh, equipments for um uh, the dressing is that all right? Are you comfortable still? Okay, that's fine, John. Uh, as soon as I um, arrange all the articles, I will be come back to uh, you. Here is your call bell. You can press the bell um, if there is anything. And uh, I'm um, just near, near, nearby, okay? Is that all right? Okay, thank you, John. Now, you need a trolley like this for NTT. So, now I need to clean the trolley. Before that, I need to gel the hand again. So in NTT, it is really, really important, um, you know, how many times you need to do the hand gel, okay? So do the hand gel, get another apron, and wear the glove. So always make sure you check the C shape, that is your hair, um, for the head, okay? Where you apron. And where your glove. Now you need to use the clean oil wipes. So that is your clean oil wipes. You need to check the expiry. So it's X space uh, 2026, uh, February, um, 25th February 2026. So you need a one wipes for the um, top trolley. So make it as open uh, fully so that it will be covered all the area. Okay. Do cleaning in zigzag motion. Okay. Then do the cleaning from the farthest to nearest now move like this then you just do the farthest nearest once you're done there move like this then farthest then nearest then you just need to discard that one in the clinical waste take a new one 
Now you need to do the down trolling. So make sure do like that so that it won't be bent anywhere and it won't be touching anywhere on your this one. Okay. So make sure you clean the farthest in the zigzag motion. Farthest, then nearest. Move like that. Then so once you complete it, move with that one. Try not to touch anywhere you already cleaned. Now you can remove your apron and glove. Tell your hands again. All your equipments needed, you need to arrange on your bottom shelf, okay? So you need a dressing pack. So dressing pack is intact. The expiry date is um, March 2026. So it's intact and in date. So I can use that one. I need a prohexidine wipes. 2% and 2% uh, uh, prohexidine and alcohol wipes. That is called equipment wipes. Okay. It's uh, expiry February 2026. So it's in, the, in date and intact. And you need a dressing, MEPO dressing. Um, so that's the one. So that also, uh, the expiry date is 2026 March. So uh, it's in date and intact. And you need a uh, normal sort. Um, so you need to check that. Is there any precipitation? It's clear and it's no precipitation. And the expiry date is January 2025. So it's in date and index. Keep that hand gel there. And uh, you can keep your glove pack as well. So if you needed the glove, you can use that one as well. Okay. All your equipments are on your bottom trolley. If you are outside your curtain, you are arranging all the articles from outside the curtain, always make sure either you can keep the uh, one more apron on your trolley or you can wear the apron but you need to come without touching the um, uh, your curtain okay so always make sure you should um, come with a minimal uh, disturbance of the curtain okay as i am doing everything from near uh, you know near to the patient so i will be able to um, wear the apron from here itself okay otherwise you can wear the apron once you reach to the patient side as well So I'm wearing the apron from here, okay? Okay. Now you can get the hands again and come to the patient. So make sure you touch on the um, uh, middle of the uh, trolley and bring that like that. Um, come to the patient. Okay, Joe, I'm back with all your um, equipment. Um, are you comfortable there? Am I okay to proceed? Okay. So make sure you arrange the trolley convenient for you. Okay. So, and also you need to arrange your um, your um, uh, um, be, um, clinical waste bin and everything near to you so that it won't be uh, affecting you okay so once you comes here if you feel that you touch the um, apron uh, in the curtain or something that's uh, you just need to change that one so need to make sure close the curtain correctly um, so now uh, okay Joe I'm back with all your the equipments. Is that okay? Can I go ahead for the um, dressing? So always make sure you are facing to the uh, patient only because of the camera. I am facing you um, this way, okay? Okay, so I'm just exposing a little bit, okay? Okay, that's fine. So I'm just going to gel my hands again. Um, 
I'm just putting the glove on. Um, so I'm just going to um, um, keep this dressing a little bit um, loose so that I'm going to take all the edges. I'm not going to take out the dressing now. So I'm just get ready to take off as soon as I'm um, ready with all the um, equipments. Okay. So that it will be easier once you complete it and uh, you know before you start okay so leave that one there now you just need to remove the glove tell the hands again so now you can clean the trolley if you got three of um, two of them clean the trolley with the prohexidin wipes just the top part so that it will be more um, uh, sterile. Then the hand second. If you want to remove the apron here, you can just remove the apron, then the hands, and put the new apron now. So always make sure you are not touching anywhere. And my trolley is 30 seconds now. It's uh, dry. So now you need to start arranging all the sterile fields now. So always make sure the uh, black label will be there there you need to that and you need to start to open then it won't be any difficulty there oh, it's this then okay so always make sure open like this so make sure without touching the inner side arrange that like this okay gel the hands again so in NTT so you can count how many times you are gelling the hands okay so now only touch the outer side of the packet okay do not touch inner side um, sometimes you will be getting different uh, color code uh, for the dressing. So this one is the black one and the uh, inner side it's a white. So always make sure you touch the outer uh, covering or the uh, green touch. Uh, if you're getting the blue one, it will be the blue outside and the white will be inside. Okay. So if it is like this, always make sure you shouldn't be before you doing um, that one. If you are able to pinch like this okay pinch like this then you just open it otherwise the white will uh, white will be touching on the uh, uh, trolley yeah so avoiding that one you try to be pinch like that then only open it arranging the sterile field is the most important part so here all you need to be very carefully you know, if any of the white part are going downwards, you need to be pinch on the green part and arrange accordingly. Yeah. So now you can see that all my pressings are here. Yeah. Now you gel the hands again. So now you need to uh, touch with the uh, non-dominant hand and put only on the um, this part only and you need to insert 
your hands inside the pocket, okay? Slowly touching this part only and keep this, the step. this is the sterile now. Now you will be able to straighten without touching the outer part. Straighten correctly. So now everything is straightened and now you need to arrange all the things uh, inside because you are wearing the uh, sterile thing, isn't it? So you just need to arrange the glove. It will be easier for you to take it out. So that will be for the waist. So when you are arranging also you should be make sure it's not touching anything outside the part. I always say that you will be, you can keep one or two gold pieces inside so that when you are uh, pouring the normal saline it won't be splashed out, okay? So now all your sterile feeds are uh, filled up, correct? Now you will be able to take out this dress thing with this one, okay? In this way. Um, so Joe, I'm just going to take out the dressing now, okay? Now you need to keep it inside out. So now you will be able to touch anywhere, okay? So now you can attach this one to the side of your trolley. Now you will be able to use this one for your bin, okay? So that will be easier for you to use as a bin bag, okay? So make sure it, it can be wide open so that it will be easier for you. So arrange everything correctly. Now most of your things are um, in. Now you need to arrange the rest of the articles. So before that you need to do, do the gel hands again. So make sure gel hands do the proper uh, uh, procedure. Okay. So now you need to clean the normal salt and add that in the um, for the dressing bag. So always make sure the bl uh, the black end uh, indicator is there. That part you need to be cleaned. So open it. Clean for 30 seconds. 28, 29, 30. And wait for another 30 seconds for dry. So now it's dry. 28, 29, 30. So open it for. Now you need to pour it very carefully without touching and without splashing. Get the hands again. Now the last one from your trolley, that's your dressing. Always make sure very carefully open it and drop it. That's it. So now all your equipments are there. Everything is okay, so I can just wear the sterile glove. So always make sure the first one you need to touch inside. So that means this will be going inside of your hand. So take that one. So, always make sure from inside and with this glove you will be because it's sterile you will be able to touch anywhere but always make sure uh, while you are um, um, inserting you need to touch the um, in uh, so outer part okay now you are ready so you can prepare the area with your draper. So always make sure cover your hand with the sterile field. Okay. Um, so will you be able to um, lift your leg up? Okay. Thank you. So if you are doing like that, the examiner will be come and help you or you will be able to attach like that. So now um, you're, uh, you haven't touched anywhere on your hand. Okay. So now you can keep one hand as a sterile and one hand as a clean. So always make sure the sterile hand always should be on the sterile field. 
So now we need to take one ghost piece. Excuse it and drop it like that. Now you need to clean from the uh, less um, contaminant area to um, more contaminant area. One stroke and one more. The same one stroke. So now you, um, you can see that um, job your uh, wound is clean and um, uh, you know I don't need to do any more cleaning so I'm just going to dry it. The patch dry done now you will be able to take the um, your dressing so it will be better you can open it with a one one hand with one hand now it's ready Joe so I'm just going to stick the plaster on here okay so now you will be able to use the back hand of the other hand and without touching the inside okay so now the dressing is completed now uh, completed your dressing okay i'm just going to cover you are you in any pain or anything are you comfortable there so now you need to take out everything this one and you will be able to take out your curve and down afterwards. So now I need to gel my hands. Okay, Joe. Uh, as I um, said, I have done your dressings. Um, your uh, dress uh, is the wound looking clean and healthy, and it's um, um, healing as well. Uh, so we will see that uh, uh, tomorrow as well and if needed uh, we will do the uh, everyday dressing unless we will uh, make it as a uh, native um, i will document the same in our nurses not um, so um, are you comfortable are you in any pain do you need any pain relief okay so are you comfortable there do you have any questions okay that's fine and um, so i'm just going to dismantle all the articles and i'm going to wash my hands Thank you everyone for watching my video. Sorry, this is all the articles and I will be washing my hands. Thank you everyone for all your support.